all right guys so finally back at it with another custom um i got this this is just a doll head and i got this off of instagram um who from whose username i'm having a lot of trouble remembering so i will um probably insert that on the screen but let's get to opening because i'm really excited about this one her face is already painted and eyes are done um, but I want to give her a new wig and I need to give her a body um, so I'm gonna count this as a customizations video a little note dear AG Primos thank you so much for your purchase I hope you love her as much as I do from Barry that's so nice okay I'm I'm excited okay Wow, she is so pretty. So here she is, or here her, her um, here she kind of is. Here's her head. Is she not gorgeous? Like what? So she comes with this wig, and it looks pretty. Like I could definitely take some pictures in it, but um, if you like look closer, I mean this kind of happens and ooh, what just happened there this kind of happens this is not so cute and then um she has this which i believe originated from her um create your own wig so yeah i think she has light skin tone right not medium i think she's light skin tone um and she just has her this is so cute i'm gonna take this out though because I want to see what her hair looks like down. Her hair is pretty dry and it's pretty tangled. Um, so it's a nice wig, but we are going to replace it. Just so she's more of like a new doll for me. Her hair out is kind of hard. All right, well, I think her hair has been in that place for a little while so it's kind of hard to take out but here's her shirt down I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of her facial features so it looks like she has painted eyes and they're a really pretty like cloudy blue color um, she has added freckles some highlighter on her nose she has the classic um, oh, sorry, one of her eyes don't close. She has the, oh, look at that. Wow, what a, <laughs> what a fun surprise. Um, I think this is why her eyes don't close, but she has, um, eyeshadow, the eyeliner, um, which I want to redo the eyeliner because it's fading just a little bit, but her brows are super nice and feathered out. And let's see, it looks like there's a gloss on her lips that was done really nicely. Um... And I think um, she used to have like a nose piercing but doesn't anymore. I personally like this and her ears are piercing because she is a create your own doll. Um, so yeah, we are going to try, try, try really hard to take her wig off um, and I'll tell you guys or I'll show you guys how that goes. All right, so we're going to start off with taking her um, existing wig cap off and I just slid a spoon through. It's not glued down very well, but I really want to get rid of all of this right here because that is definitely going to run in the way of the wig cap that I will put on. Also, it's just not that very pleasant looking. So let's get that done. Alright, so like five cotton balls filled with nail polish, spoons, and a tweezer, and one bloody thumb later. I finally got pretty much all of it out except for this little nub, but this is like impossible. I Sorry, this is like impossible to get rid of, and I think it looks so much better. Um, a helpful and painful reminder to always ask about the condition of the wig cap beforehand so you don't have to go through all of this. I also used the nail polish remover to clean up some of like 
there were some like um, dirty spots like over here on her forehead everything so the next step is to put the head back on a body she didn't come with a body so I'm using this TLC 61 that I have I think I'm gonna be selling her head um, I'm just gonna like probably hot water dunk her hair once just to get it a little bit um, like the kinks out um, but it should still be super smooth and the eyes work super well um, but she does have a pretty good condition light skin body there are some like um, I think like some clothing stains on her arms from like the dye but I don't mind that much so we're just gonna do it anyways and thankfully this body it still has the strings in it so I don't need to put in my own it saves a lot of time it didn't work for some reason my hands are like not used to retying strings because I haven't done it in so long I feel like I think that is pretty good. So now she finally has a body. Now it's time for her wig. I totally forgot that I also wanted to redo her eyeliner just because I think it's um, kind of falling off. So I should have done that before I put her head back on. But if you can see, I'm pretty sure she used like colored pencils. So what is that? There's like literal, ew, <laughs> tape in this one I don't even try taking what someone explain what is the purpose of that do her eyes still work oh what now her eyes won't open ah <sighs> I'm frustrated so her eyes like won't do the whole opening thing I assume that's why the tape was there but I don't okay we're gonna fix the eyeliner and then try to figure out the eye this is gonna be a harder fixing video than I thought it was gonna be okay um let me just do the black and the white Alright, so I did one eye, and I'm pretty sure you can see that difference between like the blackness of this one versus the fadedness of that. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry and then try figuring out the eye situation. Alright, so here is her face all done up um, and I actually just put back a piece of tape into this eye like how I found her that first time. I was wondering why it was there, but now I kind of know. So here's a close-up of her face. not perfect but I like her flaws um so here is her face mold and next for the wig I am deciding between two different wigs um I know I want her to be blonde I was gonna do like an auburn but I feel like that would have been too similar to what she came to me as and I wanted to just see her as like my own little girly so I have two create your own wigs here I have a straight regular blonde one and then I have a wavy more platinum blonde one and I think I want to try or I think I'm going to go with the lighter blonde so here she is with the platinum wig I just thought it went really nicely with her eyes um, I feel like it's very like ethereal I don't really know how to describe it but I do like the lighter colors together and the last step is to dress her, so why don't I do that?
and here she is so here is my new gorgeous little girly i am so excited i'm thinking about naming her something that starts with an a i'm thinking like abigail maybe don't really know um but if you guys could please leave your suggestions down below i absolutely love reading name suggestions all the time you guys come up with the best ones um but yeah i just need to spend a little bit more time with her before i can really say for sure um so yeah if you guys wanted to know her specs she's just a light skin sonali mold um she is a create your own mold clearly and this is her makeup and her hand painted eyes, glossy lips, some little highlight on her nose, um, eyebrows, the works, and then I put this sleek little wavy platinum blonde wig on her and I feel like that tied it all together. If you guys are wondering what she's wearing, her top is from Elite Doll World. This is from Julie's collection and I believe these are as well. And that is it for today's customization video. I hope you guys liked it and I will talk to you next time. Bye!